this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Cave Dev! Squishy? Yep. You okay? Yep. What are you doing? Going. Go, 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 going where? Up here. Any reason? Um, no. Okay, well, well you do that. I'm going to go and steal your going cake roulette because no. you obviously don't care enough. <laughs> if you can get, okay. Oh, no, Squishy, go, go. Okay, Squishy, here's a challenge. Okay, go yeah. back up to the top. Go back up to the top, okay? Oh, I'm going to start from, I'm going to start from here. Okay, you can start from the top up there. Mm -hmm. It's a race to press the cake roulette button. But, but, the twist is... I am not allowed to sprint. I can only walk, but you're allowed to sprint and jump. Oh, okay? come on! What? Look, look. look no, it's Sam, there. I'm not you're having there, this. I can't no, you I... get back on the balcony and shut the gate. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can jump okay, over I'll anyway. Be... You can't I'll be, jump I'll be either. here. I'll be, look, look, we're pretty close now. Look, i got to walk at this I'm speed. I'm going to die. Okay, I'm going to just jump for it, I think. No, well, that, if that's your strategy, that's your strategy. Okay, begin the race in three... Two, one, go, 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 go. Right, I'm not sprinting, just walking. I don't think I'm going to win. I don't think I'm going to win. Uh, uh, no. i, I got to get in. Go, 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 go. Right, I've got in the door first, but i got to press the button first. No. Oh, the fuck. I, yeah. I, who pressed it? <laughs> yeah. Who pressed it? Was that yeah. me or you? I did it. I pressed it. Oh, nothing came out, though. Nothing came out. Uh, nothing came, I thought someone was going to come out, but nothing <laughs> came out. I thought someone was gonna. Why didn't? Why didn't it work? Why didn't anything come out? I pushed it again. <laughs> well, it did come out, but I stole it and I was holding it behind your head. <laughs> you got a swiftness potion. I can run far, far away one, actually, from you really week. fast. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do present pit. We're gonna do present pit now, and and, and feel free to give me the swiftness potion because that'd be quite fun today, actually. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Oh, I, I knew you weren't going to give me that swiftest potion. Thank you. <laughs> What's, what are we doing today, Stamps? What's well, the let's, let's go down to the off. meeting room. I, I, I have an idea that I want to share with you, and I'm pretty certain you're going to like it. It seems like your kind of idea. I bared you in mind when <laughs> coming up with the idea. You bared and it's me a trapdoor flapping mini game. Yay! Okay, and I as you can see, I've finished it already, and the idea is you've got to flap them. Okay, now here's the game. Now, come back out, Squishy. Come back out. Come out. Okay, we've got a trapdoor mini game. Okay, so it's very simple. These start shut, and you need to try and flap it open and go in, and I need to try and stop you. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> really easy. I didn't know you were going to... Alright, calm down. Stop coughing. You're going to choke. Uh, you, you start the meeting, and I'm going to have a drink. You go. Right. You get the cookie first. Okay, the cookie I'm of coughing. Cookie of... <laughs> it's a coffee-flavoured cookie. Okay. Well, the thing is, Stamps, you called me into this meeting and I've no idea what's going on. I mean, we just been to the nether, which is great. I mean, we got some blaze rods, which is lovely. So, are we doing something with the end portal? Are we... No, are we... Um, let, me, let me guess by just you nodding and shaking your head. So, is it something fun? Yes. Do you actually know what it is? Yes, okay. Is it something to do with uh, dancing? No. Oh, well, I don't know. Is it something to do with the Cyber, the self esteem dragon? <gasps> I want to hear more. Okay, you talk. Only joking, it's nothing to do with that. I just wanted the cookie. No, I know what is it? No, 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 squishy, squishy, squishy. Wait, wait, wait. You can't. The meeting's all adjourned. The meeting's all adjourned. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Look, let me. Let me play this game as well. <laughs> we can play that on the way out. You need to get out. Anyway, anyway, so it, it does have something to do with the dragon a little bit. So I want to build, okay, a magical land. Okay, so the area like underneath the cave den sign where it's like lava and obsidian is a bit of a mess. So I want to build a land where like it's bright and colorful, but everything's kind of like the wrong color. So I want to build like pink trees and I want to build like f like animals that are all weird colors and I want to have like giant mushrooms there and like uh, like a like a lake and like a pond there for you and in it 
I thought we could have a cave, you know, where Simon the dragon lives in the cave protecting the treasure. Because that's like a very magical land. Oh, we could have like a like a colourful castle as well. We could have like a like a bright blue castle as well in the middle of it. And I, are you okay, Squashy? Are you are you are you excited about the idea? Or I don't know what no, Squishy, what are you? You can't <laughs> Squishy, no, you're not allowed out. No, Squishy! Come down and I'll give you the cookie. Okay? Calm down. Calm down. Come down or the cookie. I'll eat the cookie unless you come down right now. Three, two, one. That's it. I'm eating the cookie. Okay. Just just in time. Meet him and Jed. Are we, Let's we doing go play. it? Yes! <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 the game, the game. Go, go, go back down. Go back down, Squishy. No, you have to get up. Ah, I did it right. Your turn. It's the worst <laughs> go, game go, go, ever. Go, 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 go. It'll so be fun. It'll be fun. So Trust bad. me, it'll be fun. Okay, you're going you're to try and get out. I can't get out anyway. I'm not good at this, but there we go. No. No. My right, colours. We need so, yeah, colours. So many colours. So you many colours. still look. Come down here. So let me show you the no, area. So I'm talking no, about like. I don't care. I know what you're down talking here. about. Yeah, I don't care. I know what okay, you're talking so, about. See, the thing Let's is, go. though, at the moment. It's still a lot of lava down there. And if we're doing colours, we're going to be using Water. wool. And so Water. the lava... I, I think, yeah, I think we should we should get rid of this this lava first. Just make it obsidian. Okay. Oh, no, I hate coming down here. There's just, like, cooked meat everywhere from this lava. Ew. Maybe we should make Yucky. a safe place for that lava to, to lead to as well. Might be a, a smart idea. <laughs> right, I took, I've taken all the wool. I've taken all the wool. Okay. I've taken Jolly it good. all, so, Stampy. I, it's all I think go. the ground, okay, I think we should do it mainly grass, but then have like patches of other colours and patterns maybe, do you think? Oh, yeah, okay. What are you yeah. doing? And a nice spread, because we got loads and loads and loads of dirt. So I think we do it mainly, yeah. we can make it all just like link up. You see that uh, the hill to your right? We could kind of make it all just link up with uh, with that, uh, I guess. Yeah, uh, and okay. Then, um, and, like, and then... We can kind of just spread like the the theme of the magical land like over the the entire cave. I is guess? that what it's called, the magical land? <laughs> it doesn't have to. I mean, that's that's what it is. We can call. We can come up with a name like if one presents itself. I like. I mean, it is a magical land. That's what it is. You know. Is your voice okay, Stampy? Uh, why? What's you wrong? So you sound a little bit croaky, Stampy. Are you okay? What? Do you, I don't know why. Do you, do I don't you know want, why you're talking about do you squishy. You want to get a drink, Stampy? You, you do kids and your your nice soft vices. You haven't lived. You don't know what it's like to to to, to live speaking like this, like like a Dalek. You don't know what it's like to <laughs> live. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually okay. the opposite. Is is it's actually the I, I had a can of fizzy pop, <laughs> okay? Oh, you just did be just before Naughty. we recorded. So it's not like Why it's not like I have that? a dry throat. I got like I got like a fizzy throat. <laughs> if that makes That's sense. That's so bad for you. Why? Fizzy drinks just, are bad. It's not, it's not. I didn't have a whole. I, I, I've been sipping. I've been sipping so a can of fizzy sugar. pop. So much sugar. Before so I much bad. I wanted energy. I wanted to get so I wanted to get all perked up and excited, ready for cake. You can have so that had, from fruit, Stampy. I had, I you had can a have can energy of non-brand specific soda pop. Yeah, before soda pop. before we started, some soda pop. No, yeah. Stampy. There's and grapes got in the fridge. Fruit. You could have had a nice bunch of grapes, which are healthy and full of he healthy well, I was, sugars. I was thirsty as well. I wasn't gonna like milk no. the grapes. You should milk the grapes. You juice them, not milk them. Not like cows. <laughs> wrong wrong one. I wasn't going to juice like grapes. They're like they're, they're juicy, but they're so little. They're so tiny. Yeah, but they're they? yummy. That's why you have a lot of them because they're yummy. Yeah, I mean they are yummy, but they're so little. They're so tiny, they're aren't so they? Little. So did you grab so, what, all what, the wood? Yeah, I got all the walls. Oh, but you, but you, right, I'll go grab a bunch of dirt then. Okay, and uh, I, I can throw yeah. some to you because we should kind of cover. I think if we just spread that out first. Then the grass will like yeah. be spreading, and then like, but we, don't, we can just do like, um, you know, like squashed flower petals on the ground. You know when everything looks like squashed down, like there's been like spits of sticks, and like squashed like yeah. bits of plants in the ground. So like patches of color, pa pa petal patches. We can have so it'll be mainly grass, but then. Ah, you realised you were holding something, didn't you? Oh, that failed. <laughs> oh, dude, nice try, Squishy. You were holding the bucket. <laughs> you would have got me then, though, because the thing is, because 
Um, <laughs> hello, Gracie. Yeah, because I've got like bubbles coming from me anyway. Like I might have missed your bubbles, but I can see you, Squishy. <laughs> oh look, here's my here's my petal patches, just just as I ordered. If you're trying to haunt me, it'd be better to do it with something other than flowers. That's like the least menacing goat like ghost ever. <laughs> goat like it's the hippie ghost. <laughs> Ghost. I meant to say ghost, but I said goat a little bit. A little bit said goat. I mean, like, I'll give you some... All right, as soon as you've been a ghost, you can be... The ghost of spreading dirt! Ooh, the ghost of evenly spreading dirt over the area! Ooh, that would that would be... That, that would scare me. Someone helping to build and spreading dirt would be terrifying! <laughs> Fear me! Fear me! Fear the useful practical ghost! If a ghost haunted you, what would be like the scariest? Like, what would be like if there was a ghost did something and you didn't know what it was? What would be like the scariest thing to happen? Look, okay, I'm not joking right now. I've been having really scary ghost dreams, so I'm not even going there. Like, I've been having <laughs> some really horrible ones. I've been having nightmares, and they're, they're not very like I don't believe in ghosts. You know, like it's ridiculous to believe in spirits and all that. So I don't believe ridiculous. in it. <laughs> well, it's a bit to me. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't believe in it, and I just like so. It was just it, re it was just really horrible. I just didn't like it. I, I just sorry, don't like ghosts. I didn't mean things. to bring up such a sort. No, nice, stamp it. It is I really just sensitive in, in, to me. An interesting conversation starter, but <laughs> no, no, it's not stamp it. It's a I serious you were thing. I going to say like. I wouldn't want a ghost to steal my pudding or something, but no, I see you're you're actually saying. Well, that's so well, that was one of my dreams. That was one of my dreams, Stampy. So don't, don't even don't even go there, Stamp. The, it's hard. The pudding was gone. You I saw my nice chocolatey pudding. <laughs> it's the been pudding. really scary the past few nights, and you don't understand, Stampy. No it's one's the been pudding there. Pudding poltergeist. For me. No. It's so sad. <laughs> He's gone for the Victoria Sponge. <laughs> oh, that'd Having be a funny fun thing. Stamps. Well, you know those shows where they go to like, oh, we've gone to this old haunted house and there's ghosts and stuff. Yeah. Oh, funny. It's like, oh, they've showed up in the bakery again. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Because that, that would actually be scary. Because like, they always do the same things, don't they? Ghosts. Like, why do they always... If I was... What would you do if you were a ghost? That's a more interesting conversation. What would you do if you were, like, invisible, basically? Not a ghost, but still. I, th I think I spoke about this before. Like, I'll just annoy people. I, like, pester them. Because I wouldn't... Yeah, I think I'd you'd feel, have to. I, I'd feel bad if I, if I really scared someone. So I wouldn't, so I wouldn't want anyone to realise there's been a ghost there. Because then they'd get scared. Okay? And yeah. So, I, and, you know, they're, they're called Ghostbusters. And I wouldn't want that. So what I'll do is I'd just be like, you know, tap people on the shoulders. You know, still... You know, you know you, everyone loses pens. Yeah. Like, you know, every yeah. time you look for a pen and you had a pen, but the pen's gone. I think that's ghosts. I'd, I'd be one of the, I'd be one of the, the, the pen stealing ghosts. I th no, uh, I think, I think it's socks. I think there's a ghost. No, that it's sits definitely by ghosts. The no, the socks aren't moved. The socks couldn't move the pens. There's no way. I, no, I do think it's sock stamps. Socks are stealing I the pens. What do the, the socks, socks want with the pens? Yeah, of course. Are they of course eating they them do. up. <laughs> no, don't be silly. They need them for their then? art classes. There are socks have art classes. Well, yeah. Well, what, what do they, they do, do in their art classes? They draw pictures of other socks. Do they? It's art, Stampy. It's art. No, I'm not. I'm not arguing that. I mean, that does sound like art, but I just think that. I don't know. I just sometimes thought... they just draw pictures of feet. But the thing, <laughs> I think that'd be the last thing. If they had spent all day being like. S like surrounding a smelly foot all day. The last thing I'd want to do in my hobby on my day off is to to draw a, a foot. <laughs> I want to get ah. like it, I'd do esca escapism to get away from feet if I was them. <laughs> you know that you know you 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 can't choose what the socks draw stamps. It's their no, own they decision. They can, can't they? Or are they? But or is there like is there a sock leader that controls all of the other socks and tells them what to do? Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. So you know more about this than you think you do. Well, I'm just I I'm think just you know a lot about it. No, no, there's, there's don't, don't read into that at all, Squishy. It's just, oh, I'm, I'm not guessing. invisible I'm just anymore. Guessing. I've just been hopping around. No, <laughs> 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 I've been on the creeper like tree. blew up. Okay. Do, do you it's like a very tree? pretty tree. It's a very pretty doing, tree, Stampy. Now I'm doing like that, um, I just, Can I edit it? 
Why? What's wrong with it? You need to get okay. rid of these lumpy bits. Oh, okay. I thought the lumpy bits gave it character, but who am I to know? I'm not so, a famous sock artist. I want to do. I want to do Simon in his cave. Uh, okay. Where so, can well, his cave be? Well, see the face. See, this is the thing I like about this. Okay, and this is why I think this is better than the magic mirror idea. Is now. We are going to have a cave inside of a cave, which is just fun. That's just more fun than the mirror thing. Well, to have a cave inside of a cave. I don't think it should be a cave. Like, Simon isn't the stereotypical dragon. You see, he's he's a psychiatrist. He helps people with their self-esteem. He should have a little... He should be, like, in one of those chairs with a notebook and, like, his glasses at the end of his long nose and holding a pen and, like, asking you... So how do you feel about that? Well, what why can't he have that? But in like? why, why didn't it just be not a normal cave? Oh, sorry, Spacey. Why doesn't he have that inside of his cave? Because he's not a dragon that lives in a cave. Okay, well, well so what, what, what's he going to live in then? He lives in his office. <laughs> okay, so what, what's the office going to be in? He has his own problems of his own, Stampy, but no one ever asks him how he's doing. Well, we're, we're asking sad, when, 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 once, once he, well, he doesn't exist yet, does he? He's not, he's Stop not here exactly. yet, is he? Don't you start this argument again, No, well, he's Stumpy. not. Like, where is he? If he exists, don't you where start, is he? Don't you start where this is argument. Where is he? Point him out to me. I can't he's, see him. Point him out to me. Where is he? He's in my where, mind. I can't see him. He's in everyone. Simon is, is with everybody. Ah, ah, get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what heartburn is? When he breathes fire? Yes. So you know, so why do you always ask these questions when you know the answer, Stampy? I'm, ju I'm just good at you thinking it stuff, Spacey. I'm, I'm just helping you out here when you when you get stuck. I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, I got a game. I got okay. a game then. Okay. So Go on, the then. game, actually, do we have any... I'm not doing here? anything right now. I'm just letting you get on with it. This looks like oh, a giant Oh, help lamp. me. I'll be fun. Um, yeah, so the game is... Okay. Wait, wait, oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> one person <laughs> will need to... I was thinking, I can't think and talk at the same time. I am not a magic man. Thank you. Thank you, Squishy. So, no, Squishy, everyone wants to hear what my game is, and you're delaying okay, them cool. from hearing what Fine. the game is. Okay, with your okay, calm down. You're slowing calm it down. down. Calm everyone down. could have heard a game by now, but because you hey, have slowed down, Stampy, telling don't you about argue the game. with me, Stampy. You better talk. <laughs> right, the game is, Squishy. Are you listening? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you. The game is. What? Huh? Okay, so what we need to do is yeah. one of us is going to start Oh, wait, talking. one second. Okay. I'm not playing. One second. I'm just doing my tree stamps. Squishy. Yeah? People want to know what the game is. It's the best game okay. ever. You're delaying it. Yeah, I know. Okay? I'm waiting for you to tell everybody. But you Okay, I, t I tell you. Tell no interruptions. Okay. No speaking from Everyone's now on. Everyone's waiting. Everybody, listen, Stampy. Okay, for a second. Everyone's waiting for you to answer... And you're not answering, so come Answer on, what? tell everyone what's going on. Oh, look at this zombie! Stampy, look at the zombie! <laughs> no, I thought that as well. Anyway, I'm, I'm telling you now, okay? So, one of us needs to start nice talking. Don't you dare interrupt! One of us needs to start talking about a topic, <laughs> okay? Yeah, and they've got to make, they got to make it up. He's shouting at me! <laughs> they, one of us needs to start talking about a topic He's and making, making it up, me. like... Squishy, <laughs> please! Karma. That wasn't me! That wasn't me! No, but you are interrupting me! I don't care about getting knocked off. I just want to tell everyone the game because it's the best game ever. I and just it's... started crying and then it's, a skeleton hit you off and then you went, Squishy! <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the game, okay? Yes, One of us yes. makes up something, okay? You mm -hmm. know, they'll say that, yeah. you know, for example, did you know that all frogs belly dance at night? Okay, that's an example. Okay, and then the other person needs to carry on and explain how and like why what the other person says happens and try and like justify it. Does that make sense? I've played this game before. Have you? Is this a real game? I'm pretty sure it's a real game. Okay, well, let, let's, you should be an expert then. So how about you no, go first? I'm I'll, not I'll start you know saying I'm not something. Good at talking quickly. I'll start saying something, and you need to come up with a reason why this is true. And tell you what, let's go with the example. It's not Did you fair know because that you frogs? Know I have speech problems. <laughs> you can talk. No, this isn't a speech. This is just got a thing. This is creativity. Oh, this is what you're you're masterful at, and you've played this game before. Too. So, did you know that frogs ballet dance at night? Yeah, because if they did it in the day, 
then like everyone would see them and they're quite shy dancers. But why do they ballet dance at all? Because they like the art of dancing and frogs are very artistic amphibians. I'd like to say, are they amphibians? What makes yeah, them um, create creative like that? Well, of course, everybody knows that it's because of their their slimy surfaces. <laughs> being slimy makes you creative, does it? Oh, look how creative yeah, this gang is! I'm being followed by a very creative gang it, right now. To be creative, <laughs> you need a lot of fluid, don't you? <laughs> Do you? And b dancing, especially ballet dancing, helps you glide like like a majestic froggle. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. There we go. So now, I mean, now you're these gonna slimes, do... for example, these slimes, for example, Look how they mm. glide like ballerinas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so you're gonna do one for me now. You need to. To start, you need to you need to give me a statement, and then I need to explain why it's true. And the more absurd, the better. Okay. So, Stampy, did you know that you you know you know pigeon poop? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that pigeon poop is really good for a, a shampoo. Yeah. And no. conditioner. Yeah, I know that because I was actually in my my blog that I have about the uh, the use uh, the the hidden uses of feces in bird life. I actually wrote an article about this, probably like honestly about probably like two weeks ago. Because yeah. pigeon poop, it's it's different yeah. to to most <laughs> other birds' poop because their diet mainly yeah. consists of food, you know, which they've eaten from us. And so it's got a whole load of like mm -hmm. added chemicals and like preservatives and you know like fertilizers, you know, which isn't in the normal bird population. So you know, pigeon poop, and I guess to an extent like seagull uh, poop as well, uh, is kind of different because you know there are other animals that are scavengers, but pigeons are the only ones where the majority of their diet uh, is based on on kind of chemicals that we have had and so they react you know to the uh, the normal like bacteria and stuff inside of the the pigeon stomach and it creates a lot of the um the same chemicals uh, that are actually found inside of like you know most shampoos because as you know like you know everything is originally natural like any chemical is originally like natural anyway and so you know the the chemical reaction inside of the the pigeon creates lots of the uh, the same strands you know that you find in normal like shampoo and conditioner isn't that crazy <laughs> <laughs> right, your go, your Shush, go. We're doing it again. Stampy. We're not done. No, I it's your don't go. like it. I one get more, scared. One more. What? 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 I more get anxiety. I'm not one, sure. Okay. <laughs> one, one more each. One more each. Okay. okay. Let me think. I think the, I think the hardest thing is thinking of the, the did you know part. Like, because that's like yeah, you've got I to struggled figure, with that one. I don't know. It's a bit worrying that the first thing that came to my head was pigeon poop. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really question that, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so let me look around for some some inspiration. <laughs> do, do, are you thinking that what I built looks like pigeon poop? Is that why? <laughs> is that why yeah. you said that? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say anything. Okay, did you know? Yeah. Did you know? I did. That when did, actually giraffes sneeze, they create the most high pitched sound on earth. And now you see that is actually true, Stampy. You know, because if you think about it, the sneeze comes from not only the nasal, but it comes from the vocal folds, which are actually vocal cords, but it's the actual word for vocal cords. And because a giraffe's neck is so long, the more like the cl and the, it's thin as well, because the neck's thin too. Like, because it's so close together in a close proximity, when the giraffe sneezes, it has to reverberate up the neck, which is, yes, very thin and very long, and the vocal folds are in the neck, and, and because they're vibrating together so quickly in a thin, thin area, like, it, it makes a really loud squeaky noise. So, actually, it is true. So, is, is that why they're so good at um, singing as well? No, because they're not good at singing. You're lying. They're, no, they're amazing at singing. Have you not heard? No, they're not good at singing, Stampy. And do you want to know why? 
Why, why aren't they good at singing? Because, because the, they're giraffes. Yeah, but, but, but why would that mean they're not good at singing? Because they're they giraffes got such and they've got big long vocal necks. Folds. As you pointed well, they, out. No, they, they, they have long vocal folds, not big. And it's not the size of the, vo uh, the vocal folds. It's actually like, oh, the length of them or whatever. It's it's like the strength of it, I guess. Like it's the strength of the vocal folds actually matters when singing, like the muscle power around it. And because giraffes, you know, they're really gangly and like really skinny and stuff. They, they don't have that much power. They don't have that much power in their vocal force. It's just that because it's thin and it vibrates quickly. Like, like if you if you hear like a very deep voice, like that sounds stronger than a high pitch voice. You see. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for explaining wrong. that to to us. That that didn't know. I was just I was just inquiring. I was just I was just trying to to. I don't have the valuable information that you have, Squishy, what about giraffe making? sneezing. A big tree thing. Well, Just... Stamps, turn around a second. You yeah. said this whole thing is going to be different colours to what they actually are. This mushroom yeah. looks like a mushroom. No, but it, but it just looks so giant and magical. They look so good, though, don't it's... they? They fit. They, they fit don't in. Really look good. They fit. Yeah, I've only built one size. tree for this whole episode. They 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 they, they fit sorry. in, and I will. We will add more stuff here, and like we will build more things. But anyway, we're, so we're gonna do one one last go of the the game where you do you do mm. one for me, and then and then we're ended there. Come on, you don't have to. All you have to do is think of one now. <laughs> okay. Did you know that every time you plug your headphones into a headphone port, you create a tiny little fairy? Ah, so this, this, so this is actually based on a common misconception. Okay, so. A lot of people think, and a lot of very intelligent people think, that when you're listening to the radio, you know, or something off your phone or the television, a lot of people think that there's actually tiny people inside of the radio speaking, and that's how the voice gets out, which is obviously yeah. ludicrous, yeah, you true. know. Like, you know, yeah, as you're true. watching us on YouTube, you know, me and Squishy aren't tiny people living inside yeah, of, of whatever Hello. you're watching us on. No, see, that's that's what you, a lot of people have heard, but that is actually uh, not true. The truth is, is it's actually little fairies fairies that are imitating us that's the the truth of it so Why? when you plug your headphones in to listen to us uh, what that means is there's actually little fairies are born by the static electricity when you click the the headphones in and these fairies are born and their purpose is to sound just like whatever you're listening to and it doesn't matter if you're listening to one of our videos someone else's videos it doesn't matter if you're listening to music or watching the news there's little tiny fairies Mimicking. inside which are because they're magic they can imitate any voice perfectly but sometimes if the uh, the fairy's just been born they're not experienced enough no. yet and they're not actually uh, very good at imitating so you know sometimes you record yourself speaking and then you listen to it back and you're like oh that doesn't sound like me i sound so different that's because the fairy isn't good enough at imitating your voice yet and it's still learning <gasps> and then after you listen so to your voice for a while like Every time I mess up on my words, it's actually the fairy that's messing up on the words. No, no, not no, me. because that's so the... I, I'm not actually uh, got a speechy problem then. No, it's the fairy. No, because that that that's um because that that's in the recording. I'm afraid that that's when you record yourself. So the the fairies are just like like oh. copying what you said as best as they can. So I guess oh. sometimes they could mess up, but they they generally don't do that. But yeah. what it does mean is, as I All was uh, trying to say, is that when they're trying to, to imitate you, sometimes at first it doesn't sound good, but once you listen to your voice back for a while, you know, it generally sounds better. But that's because the, the fairy is more experienced at replicating your voice. Okay. There we go, and there's there's the truth I'll on that matter. You. But sadly, we uh, we should build some. We should build some of the fairies in this land. That would be perfect. <gasps> yeah, the, the, they need to be tiny, though. So they need to be like one block tall with a lever on their head. <laughs> okay, we we we'll try. We we'll work out what they're gonna look like I'm in the sorry. next episode. I'm sorry. So, I I I I I built a tree. <laughs> okay, where where is it? Uh, here. This is this is the thing that I contributed to the episode. Ah. <laughs> and and lots of flowers as well is what you contributed. But sadly, that yeah, is it. Oh, look, look, look at the time. Look how long we've been recording for. We keep doing this recently. Ah!
Kurt, be quiet. We need to be quiet. We need to stop now, right now. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. So sadly, that is the, the end of, uh, of this episode here. So yeah, there'll be a link in the description uh, to the next episode where we're going to be building fairies. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and we will see you all later. Bye.